Good morning. I'm going to demonstrate on how to hook up RS-485 to a group of sensors so that we can daisy chain these sensors together on one loop. And uh, first thing we have to do is get addresses. I happen to have assigned them already to these guys, but I want to show you how. Let's say we want to go and verify what address is uh, uh, whoever is on. So we hook up this USB to RS-485 cable. This happens to be set up as a 5% CO2 at address 6. Uh, so we simply go in and we are on a COM port number four, which is a, 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 a USB connection from a hub. And uh, if we would want to see uh, if we have the right cable or not, we simply unplug it and it will go away. And we plug it back in and uh, that guy will reappear. And so we're gonna pick COM, point, com port four and we're gonna pick the kind of product it is, which happens to be a MXEC sensor, which automatically selects its type. We're not even gonna tell it that it's RS-485 because that'll use this address here. We wanna discover what address it is actually at. And so we just hit connect and it goes in and uh, lo and behold, uh, we've now connected this sensor up. We can make measurements and that kind of thing. And if we can go into the data stream and we will see that, oh my, it asked for it and it told us that it's address six. And if we go into the configuration menu, which brings up all the registers and so forth um, uh, uh, that are in these devices, um, we come up into this corner here. Well, let's go and get him up so he's useful. We want to move him around. Okay, and let's pull him up so he's a little bit. Let's see what else is going on. We want to go into the settings, and it tells us that its RS-485 address is going to be address 6. There's a bunch of other settings in here for data logging and so forth, but for the time being, we now have this device, and it is addressed. So... Uh, we'll repeat the process with any of these, of these other sensors here, uh, and that's what we do to configure them. So each guy is going to have an address on them. All these sensors have already had addresses thrown at them. This happens to be an oxygen, has 07. This is a CO2 with a tube cap, happens to be 08. And this guy here is a 5% uh, CO2 sensor and happens to be on address 6. And um, to hook them up, I'm gonna take my RS-485 cable here and plug it in. And um, then I'm just gonna start hooking sensors onto this. So I'll start off here with my uh, uh, buddy with a tube cap on it. And this, uh, this is just simple 10-way uh, flat ribbon cable. Uh, you can run it as long as you want to. You could use uh, discrete wire if you'd like. Um, I have one of those right here, not quite as pretty, but uh, certain, uh, certainly um, uh, functional. And um, yeah, there we are. We have three sensors connected. Now we want to talk to them. And to talk to them, we're using the Gas Lab software here. We've got it, uh, we're using COM4, which we have a uh, USB to RS-485 uh, cable connected to. And um, we are doing MX type ser uh, system, EC MX series sensors. We're gonna tell it that it's RS-485 and we're gonna give it an address. And who are we gonna do first? Let's do the one with the tube cap. And that is address eight, so we connect him up. And you can see we've got our CO2 and the rest of the sensors that are associated with this because this also has extra sensors in the tube cap itself uh, for pressure, temperature, and relative humidity so that you can do altitude or pressure compensation, for example, when you would be uh, using a pump. So it's, uh, that's what this little connection there is about. Um, all right, so it's connected. We're making readings and uh, that good stuff. 
And now we're gonna go click and connect another sensor to it. Again, we're on COM4, again, we're RS485, and again, we are with an EMS, uh, uh, ECMX series sensor. And this guy is gonna be the diffusion one, and he happens to be on address six. And so we hook him up, and here we go. And you'll see, see, we got a CO2 sensor here. You can actually see what was communicated to the, uh, to the device. Um, he actually identified himself. Uh, this, it looked at address six down here. It asked for address six. It got an acknowledge of address six. It verified what it was and uh, got its information that it was gas type one and all those good things. So now we have two sensors connected and we got a third to go. So we'll go back to the graphing screen because it's easier to read. And um, again, we're, uh, we're gonna be on port four, uh, uh, COM4. Uh, we're RS485. We are an ECMX series sensor. And we are going to be on address seven this time. And this is an oxygen sensor. And so we're gonna do a connect and lo and behold, our oxygen sensor shows up. And we read a little oxygen. Again, you'll see that uh, in the data stream portion of it, it sent the, uh, it sent the uh, information down to uh, address seven, was acknowledged as address seven, and we we're off to the races. Um, so we, back to that, back to the data, uh, uh, the graphing screen. You'll notice on the side here, there is a bar and it keeps track of the readings that you've made on each sensor, what the value was, um, highs and lows and all that kind of thing so that you can get a running uh, uh, operation on, this, on the sensors that are now connected in a group. You know, this is 485. You can run this for hundreds of feet without a problem. These things don't consume very much uh, current. So you can, uh, really run a whole raft of sensors out there like all over a machine and just tie it together with a four wire bus or a flat ribbon cable bus however you want to go about it very very flexible okay what we're going to what we're going to attempt today is just give you an illustration of hooking up multiple sensors uh, by a pump for sampling uh, we've got a little box over here that we'll be sampling from. But what we've done is we have a pump sucking a, uh, 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 on these three sensors. And so the input is coming in here. On the, via, there's a little filter in there just to keep dust and any other crud out that, uh, you know, you, you never know. And... Um, so it takes it flows into this five percent, this five percent, this oxygen sensor through the pump, and out it goes. And uh, yeah, you can you can uh, see it, or you can actually sort of hear it operate. If I uh, when I restrict it, uh, the pump has to work a little bit harder. All right. In this video, I am going to connect the sensors up uh, in daisy chain fashion so that we can communicate to all three of these sensors simultaneously. And we're going to do that with this flat ribbon cable here, which is going to allow us to connect to each sensor sequentially for a daisy chain. So I'll plug into this guy and then I'll plug into this guy over here. And then I'll plug into this young fellow right here so that uh, they'll all be set to roll. The, uh, the polarity of them is controlled. You see there's a notch on the end of this. And so the notches are always on the outboard side. The same thing happens when we actually make the electrical connection to the computer where we're gonna get power and uh, we'll be talking to a gas lab. Uh, it has the same kind of keying and it goes in here. And now we have all three of these sensors online. And I have gone through already. And uh, for example, you can see 
on these uh, sensors here that I've marked what they are and what addresses that we're using. Uh, this would be the exclamation or the terminal mode, and this would be a Modbus mode address so that you can support two different kinds of communication simultaneously.